Travel and things in association with rugged wear, real people, real clothing, real solutions, presents In Conversation With. I am your host, David Batsoffen, and my guest today is just one of the people involved in Kruger's self-drive, Roots, Roads and Ratings, and that's Ingrid van der Berg. Ingrid, good morning. Welcome to you. Yes, good morning. Thank you for having me. It's it's only a pleasure. You join us from Bella Bella today, I believe. No, I am oh. still in Johannesburg. Yes. Oh, okay. Sneaky. I should have I should have checked before yeah. I said that. <laughs> yeah. well, good morning and alcohol. So I love the title of the book, Roots, Roads and Ratings. Tell us about the book, because it's it's quite a it's quite a big book. This is not like let's just slip this in my back pocket when I go to Kruger type of thing. This is for, yeah. for serious planning, this book. Yes, uh, it is quite a, an extensive uh, book, and it uh, covers all the roads in Kruger, all the roads, the good roads and the bad roads. There's no bad road, uh, but all the roads. And then it also gives uh, some uh, ideas of where, how you can choose a route if you don't know the park well. Okay. So, yeah. So, so the book published by HPH, I almost forgot. We can't forget them. Um, yeah. because they do a lot. <laughs> and there's just a slight relationship between you and the publisher, I think. Is there not a... Yes. The, everybody, the entire Van der family seems to have been involved in this. Philip, yourself, and Heinrich. Um, yes. You're doing the text, and I take it um, they're doing, together with you, doing the photographs. Yes, Philip is the, the one who edits the photographs and, and chooses them, and Heinrich is the publisher, right. and he's, I am doing the writing. But this, we all work together. This is almost an iconic picture from Kruger. The cheetah love using these road signs. To, to sort of yeah. scout the prey and, and make for nice images. Yes, yes. I love to get onto something that is high so that yeah. they can have a, a scan over the uh, environment. Now, talk to me about the book. As we said at the beginning, this is this is a book to help you plan a holiday, to, to maybe if it's your first time in Kruger, to go through it and find out what is available to visitors to Kruger. How long did this take to put together then? I mean, this is not five minutes worth of work. No, no, it was quite a long time. Uh, we've been visiting Kruger for many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. And we actually know the park very well. So uh, we thought that we're going to sort of uh, uh, help people who don't who get there for the first time or even people that have been there for many years and haven't actually looked deeper. Mm. Uh, uh, one, of the, uh, um, one of the things that we hoped to achieve with this book is that people uh, would uh, not only look for the big five, because I mean, all of us love to see predators and we love to see the big ones, but there are so many small things that are important. Mm. And starting with uh, just uh, looking at the whole uh, geology of the park and um, realizing that the soil, for example, has a big influence on the vegetation right. and the vegetation has an influence on uh, the herbivores that, that uh, Raise those uh, uh, areas, and then uh, and the predators, of course, go where the herbivores are because that, that are the prey. So, when you start looking deeper, you look at the trees, and you realize that the trees are part of the whole puzzle and how things fit together. It just makes your experience so much more meaningful and you can never get back to camp and so I haven't seen anything because many people come back and say <laughs> I haven't we haven't seen anything but when you start when you go slow and you start mm. looking at um, trees and birds of course and when you start uh, uh, focusing on that then all of a sudden, before you realize, here yeah, is something more interesting for you, and it, it might be a predator. Yeah. So 
that is what we would of what we want to achieve with this book and uh, and also to say look wider mm. don't don't just look uh, look for the lions or the leopards which are fantastic but look wider look yeah. deeper enjoy the atmosphere enjoy enjoy the vegetation enjoy the birds yeah and the small little things the insects and now, everything. Now, my love for Kruger goes back to 1966, when as a 13-year-old, I was taken there as a birthday present. And it was that that started me on my uh, path to, to where I am today with wildlife. Uh, I think Kruger started off a lot of people's wildlife journey. And they've gone back over the years. It's almost, and I'm, I'm using this term lightly and not disrespectfully, it's almost like a pilgrimage for some people. They go, you know, every September or whatever, we go to Kruger for three weeks. And we've yes. been doing it for the last 20 years. Exactly. And then you say to them, well, why don't you go to another park? And they go, no, Kruger's the one. Yes. You know, thinking about that, we were really very fortunate here in South Africa uh, in having a, a park like Kruger because mm. you can do a self-drive. You don't, you're not... You can do it on your own time in your own at your own pace, and there are even uh, tarred roads which uh, one might uh, one might say, "Oh, tarred roads," but it helps to uh, manage the uh, uh, traffic, mm. and it also uh, means that uh, herbivores come right up to the road to graze and to browse uh, because there's now not so much dust. Yeah. Um, and you know where in the world can you actually get any park that uh, that you can compare with Kruger? Kruger is and, just and if you if you think about it, special. sorry, I spoke over you. Um, if you think about it, Ingrid, it's it's a relatively short trip from Joburg. I mean, it's five hours, yes. maybe four from Pretoria, yes. give there, there or thereabouts, depending on how many cups of coffee you want to stop for along the road. Yes. Where else in the world, in the entire planet as we know it, I don't know about outer space, they may have game parks on Mars, for all we know. Elon Musk may be <laughs> populating Mars with the big five as we speak, so you can have an out-of-world out of experience there. But you can literally get into your car in the early morning, and by mid-morning, you, you can be looking at, at game of a variety of different species. And as you yeah. point out, this go, coming back to camp and saying, I've seen nothing. My initial or my immediate response to those people is, did you see Impala? And then, yes, we saw hundreds of Impala. We drove past them. Why? Impala are one of the most beautiful antelope to watch early mornings, late <laughs> in the right light. They are stunning. They really and truly are. Um, yes. And people tend to forget that, you know, because they're so commonplace. Yeah, you're right. But uh, then, on the other hand, they don't realize that Impala, uh, that's the antelope that hasn't changed for, for all these thousands of years. Yep. Uh, and it is the, the most perfect antelope on Earth. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, and you know, when once you start looking deeper into the, the impalas and uh, realizing how what a, a, a wonderful social structure they have and the behavior, and you look mm -hmm. at them and you can actually uh, uh, see what what they how they're talking to each other and yeah. how they preen each other and how how uh, the, the 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 different. Uh, um, males and the females how they uh what uh, in, in what way they are uh sort of relating to each other it yeah. is so interesting you can actually at least their social structure works unlike humans we have no yeah. so they, we believe we have a social structure <laughs> now the <Exactly>. book <laughs> which is called kruger self drive roots roads and ratings is published by hph this is also a great book to have in your car, obviously have in the car with you, because then if you do pick a particular road or a particular route, you can read up about it. 
well, not you that's doing the driving, but somebody else in the vehicle can turn it exactly. into, into a mini road trip or a little bit of an explanation as to, you know, what could be found on the route or, or those exactly. type of things. Yeah, exactly. Now, it is meant to be used, but... It is also meant to be on your coffee table when uh, you prepare your. Well, of course, uh, because I've just happened to I just happened to have opened here on H14 between Satara and Ulefans River, and you you give some sightings. Lions get a four star. Um, birds of prey get three. Trees get three. It's thirty nine kilometers. It's tarred. It traverses traverses three eco zones. And um, there is a water hole at the S90 junction, and there is a little map uh, to tell you. He says, if I can hold this up, uh, you know, yeah, a little map to show people who, what, where, why, and when. So, yeah, does does the the Van Berg family have a particular road that they enjoy traveling on, or a particular route that you guys keep using, or do you just get to a gate and go, we'll just turn left or turn right? As the as the uh, you know as the feeling takes us. Yeah. Well, my son uh, usually says, "You know, the best road is the road on which you are." Yes. <laughs> slow down, relax, and look. Be yeah. aware of things around you. But there are roads, especially the roads uh, close to rivers, that mm -hmm. are more have more uh, uh, biodiversity and uh, where one would expect certain kinds of animals and birds. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the, the, the variety next to rivers is usually greater than on the flats. Yeah. But um, yes, uh, but, but everywhere. There is, as some... you say, there, there isn't a bad road. There are only bad drivers in Kruger. And that's why they've got speed traps in Kruger. So just be <laughs> aware, people. <laughs> and it's not when those elephants step out to stop you to give you a ticket, they sit on you your vehicle can. while they ride. It. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yes. How did you? The, the title says it all: routes, roads, and ratings. How did you do the ratings? Was it a combined effort by your family, or did you each come up with a rating for a specific road? No, we we asked several people that uh, are familiar with Kruger uh, what they would rate. Of course, it's just uh, a, a, sub, a subjective. A subjective, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it is our rating, and also the you know it's just our experience over many years. Yeah, but. Uh, you know, it's not uh, cast in stone. I mean, we've seen the most wonderful sightings on roads that one would expect there's nothing. And vice so, versa, probably. And vice versa. You know, I mean, we all say, okay, the H14, which uh, follows the Sabi River, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or the no, sorry, I'm um, uh, the four two, uh, four one. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm co uh, confused that uh, is the best road in Kruger, but we've often uh, taken that road and haven't seen. Any, okay, no, I don't want to say we haven't seen anything. <laughs> but, I was going to let you walk <laughs> into your very own careful. Track. Yeah, but uh, you know that that we, it was just at the wrong time of yeah. day, perhaps, or. Uh, it was just the wind was perhaps blowing, yeah. or you know the the it's it's there are many factors that that yeah. influence the movement of of animals. But, but also, Ingrid, people need to realize that animals work on a different time frame. They don't exactly. wake up in the morning, look at their wristwatch or their cell phone, and go, "Oh my goodness me, I have an eight thirty appointment yeah. on the S one four with the with the Funneberg family." So I better skedaddle or I'm going to be late. They wake up and they go, hmm, it's just another day in Africa. I'll go back to sleep yeah, and let exactly. the Funneberg family drive past where I should be. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, I think I think that is at, at the end of the day, that's what makes um, visiting a park like this so special. Because yeah. you can drive past a, a tree and not look up, the next person looks up and there's either a raptor of some sort or a leopard lying in the tree and you've missed it by seconds or minutes. 
just, and that's just the thanks. way it works. It's the luck of the draw. And again, Excellent. I think it would, and you can correct me because you guys have been going to the park more often than, than me. That's what draws people back every year or twice a year or sometimes even three times a year because they want Absolutely. to go different seasons, they're migratory birds that come in yeah. and out, all of that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like for example, over the December, January, February period, phew, it's hot. Yeah. But, oh <laughs> the birds, well, especially see, up north, oh, fantastic. This, this fantastic. is the thing, you know, people talk about up north going in at Pafuri, for instance. Yes, um, yes. So it's not great predator country, but you've got no. awesome ellies, you've got stunning buffalo herds. And then you've got the baobabs and you've got the yellow fever tree forests, which make Absolutely. up for that. I mean, driving into those forests is just so spectacular. And then, as Absolutely. you say, bird life, if you're a birder, and I don't know about you, but that's my best. You stop at what you think is a sighting and there's one vehicle and everybody is trying to look up into a tree. And there's one yeah. tiny little bird that you can barely yeah. see with a, with a 600 mil lens. And they get yeah. so excited yeah. because it hasn't been spotted in Kruger for the last 20 years. And now the thing is here, yeah. you know, yeah. it was like, what was that bird recently that everybody flocked to Hoodsprat for? There was a warbler that got lost right. and didn't, yeah. didn't go home when, he should, when it should have. And people drove from Joburg to Hoodsprat to see this thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Kruger Self-Drive, Roots, Roads and Ratings, published by HPH. It's current. Is it currently available at all good bookstores? Or it online? is uh, available at the exclusive books. And uh, uh, it is also available on, uh, our, uh, on the net. Yeah. Uh, just if you go to the website at uh, hphpublishing.co.za, then you will see it there and you can... Okay. A last, a last question, Ingrid. If you walk into an exclusive books and you find this book, but it's standing that way on a shelf or it's lying that way on a shelf, do you or any of your family members go near Vachabiki? We're going to stand it upright so people can, <laughs> stay, can see it. Or do you walk up to the book and go, wow, look, it's a new book by the Van Bergs. We have to have this. <laughs> well, I hope that many people like to walk up and say, wow, I've got to have that. <laughs> Ingrid, yeah. it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for joining me. The book, once again, Kruger Self-Drive, Roots, Roads and Ratings. It's published by HPH Publishers, and it's just in time for that end of year holiday. Ingrid, once again, thank you so very much for joining me here on In Conversation With. Thank you very much, Doug.